Well, look what it went and did. We got some snow finally down here that's sticking. The fun time is over. So I'm big. Outside projects are pretty much on hold for me. I'm not going to come out here and try and do too much in this creepy weather. Uh, but I do have to do, uh, you know, that brings on a whole new of uh, wintertime chores. I have to change out this now to, you know, get rid of the bucket and put on the, uh, the plow. So that's what I'm going to do. It's uh, Saturday after Christmas. Okay, so I'm just going to get set up and then I'll show you once I got set up what I'm doing. Okay, continuing on here, I just had to uh, go through some little puzzle in my head to try to figure out how this stuff goes on. And I just remembered it all sort of came back to me because it was so frustrating last year. I have to, so here's the deal. I have to convert over from summer when I was using the, uh, the mower deck, okay? <clears throat> and the mower deck uses uh, these brackets right here. And these brackets are uh, need to be removed and those brackets have to be put on okay um, these brackets go right in their place and what those brackets do is they make a place for this thing right here to attach onto it so that uh, that bar that you see with the pin on it um, that will be going through that hole right there once I get those things attached and uh, then um, that will allow me to put that thing on so let me take all this stuff off it has to be done for both sides um, it's gonna be you know there's that screw that screw that bolt and that bolt so four bolts on each side have to come off You know, I opened up this manual here for that for the quick hitch, and it doesn't say anything about you know this manual must be for uh, a different kind of a tractor mount, not the uh, this little tractor right over here, the 1023, the 1025, and the 1026. Uh, these tractors are all the one series or something like that. They will be this would mount the same on any of those, I'm sure. But this manual does not even show that little uh, that cover at all anywhere in here. And that's why it's so frustrating because uh, every time you know I forget how to mount that thing, and I have to sort of puzzle it out. So let this be documentation for any of you guys that have one of these one-series tractors. And you've got to get this thing on. Uh, by watching this, you should be able to do it without too much trouble. I mean, rather than having to uh, you know, get all frustrated and throw your wrenches away. Okay, at this point, I've got everything off the front. Uh, there's the uh, brush guard. It's off. And I've taken off these brackets. And now, the next step is to put these brackets on. And I'm pretty sure that those brackets get mounted on the outside of the frame. So not they don't get mounted to the inside over here. They get mounted out here. So that's what I'm going to do now. <clears throat> All right, so I just loosely put these brackets up on both sides. So uh, you can see that bracket there. I didn't put these bolts on the back side yet. I just put that put it in there so it's kind of loosely there and the same with this side over here it's just sort of loosely in there and the reason I did that was because this piece right here has to sort of fit up in there and if I remember last year it was really kind of tight to get it in there so I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it loose and <clears throat> so this bar that goes across here that fits up in that slot okay 
and this bar that uh, this pin that goes through that goes through this hole here and through that hole there and it holds sort of the front up right all right so there you can see so we look from an overhead view it wasn't too bad for me to place it in there I I just slipped that back bar up in on both sides and uh, while it was sort of hanging under its own weight I just sort of lifted it up and I was able to put that pin through all the way through so it's coming out the other side now here all right <clears throat> and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through and put all four bolts in and I, and I okay if you've made it this far you're home free so that bottom I call it a coupler that bottom coupler is now on I've tightened up the four bolts some have fitted in there loosely I've tightened everything up now I did in fact decide not to put that brush guard back on so the next step is to put this thing on and so from here on in it's pretty easy and probably intuitive so this bar this little bar right here slides right into this top channel right there and then these on both sides these little spring-loaded uh, pins will uh, clip into one of these holes here on either side so I'm going to do that now okay so that thing is on and it's hooked on just like I said so the top bar the top bar of this piece right here ah, top bar of that piece right there hooked right into that right into that uh, thing that I was showing you earlier and these bottom pieces they uh, they went right into the uh, the bottom of the two holes on mine. <clears throat> now that that is on and secured, uh, I by the way I did go through and did uh, double check these fittings just to make sure that they were tight. Took a little wrench and just made sure went, you know went to the right a little bit. Just to make sure that they were uh, tight because uh, last year or actually the first time when I first got this from the dealer and I was putting it on for the first time I just assumed that they were tightened up and one of them in fact was not tightened up and it was leaking uh, hydraulic oil so um, just out of paranoia I checked them to be sure that they were tight and then and so now the next step it's pretty straightforward as you know, hopefully, these things are color-coded, so it's kind of hard to go wrong. You know, the hooking up the hydraulics now, just yellow goes to yellow, etc. So I'm going to get that, those things hooked up, and then we'll uh, start it up and just make sure that this thing moves. Okay. So the hydraulics are hooked up, and what I did... Uh, I put these, uh, where you see these, I put these yellow, that one's set to black, I was already there, but I put these yellow twist ties on, just to keep these tapes organized, I don't want them to risk of, you know, running over them or having them getting tangled up in the fire. So, I twist tied it to uh, the dealy whacker that's uh, down here. That steely whacker right there. Twist tied it to that, so it's not going to come off of that little twist tied brake. And I double tied it. Um, so I think it's going to be safe. Now, I haven't tried this yet, so we'll do that now. To go. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm just operating the hydraulics on that, and it works. All right, so now I should be able to just uh, quick connect into this, and I'll get you set up so that you can see me do that. on there it wouldn't have been any big deal for me to just lift it on there I do have to set these uh, pins right here though let's see here are those pins in the hole no uh, let's see here where are we there we go Okay, both of them are in. Good. And it's got this uh, the spring attachment thing here, so that when you pull forward on it, it uh, you know if you hit something, it releases. And uh, I don't know if you can see it. This is a pin right here. If I didn't want that to happen, I would set. I would just put that pin in there like that, and that would keep it from. From moving but I don't want that um, if I hit something I don't want to damage this blade and you know I don't know what I'm gonna be hitting probably something in the driveway and then I don't want to damage either all right so that does it I'm done I hope that was helpful for those of you who like me have ever had trouble with that thing by the way, I just got my broom and installed it. It's all snowy. I need to back it in and uh, you know clean it off, grease it up, lube up the chain, make sure it's ready to go. Uh, but I'm not going to show that in this video. I just wanted to show you. They, hey, look, I got the broom on. <laughs> <laughs>